Hello, can you all hear me okay? Is this good or louder? Hi everyone, my name is Dylan Babs. I work at a company called Here Technologies, and I'll be talking about Isoline routing today. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you to our host, Mercedes, uh, for hosting this event. And this is also my first time at Seattle.js, so I'm excited to be here. So Here Technologies is a mapping and location services company. So we do everything from putting maps in navigation systems in cars to creating location services for developers. So if you want to do any sort of interactive mapping in your applications, um, as well as put routing or geocoding, anything like that, we could help out with that. Um, we're also owned by a German automaker consortium, so actually Mercedes. Uh, uh, one third of the owners uh, alongside of BMW and Daimler. So we do all sorts of things uh, from normal mapping to live maps and we collect about 28 terabytes a day of new data around the world. So today I'll be talking about one of our um, APIs that are pretty popular called an Isoline. Um, an Isoline route is like a normal routing algorithm. However, it's the area that you could travel to in any direction by foot or by car within a certain distance or time. So if you look at maybe a normal radius of how far you could go, um, you're probably thinking of just a circle. Um, and that might work for maybe an airplane or a boat out at sea. But usually as humans, we're driving around on roads or we're walking on streets. So you can't really just walk through a building or such or walk across a lake. You're usually restricted to the road network. So the ice line will actually create shapes like this of what you see on the screen. And so you could see, like, to get to the east side, you have to get across one of the bridges and stuff. So basically, road, um, uh, it's a routing algorithm um, to see how far you could go based on a road network. So Iceline routing has a couple different use cases. Um, say, for example, you're moving to a new city, and you already know where your office is going to be. But you want to find new neighborhoods to live in that are going to be within a 20-minute drive, including traffic. So you could do that with this API, and you could even put in traffic settings. Um, so it depends on the type of day, you get traffic included there as well. Say it's your friend's birthday and you're planning a bar crawl. You could actually create um, the best bar crawl by finding nearby bars within 10 minutes. So you could get this ice line polygon and then filter points of interest that fall within it. Then finally, if you're planning a road trip on your shiny new Tesla or another electric vehicle, you could determine how far you could actually drive with a single charge so you don't end up stranded on the side of the road. So with this API, there's a couple different parameters you could pass it, um, other than just the distance of how far you want to go. Um, for range, you could either do time or distance. So you could say, I want to travel 20 miles in any direction, or I want to do 20 minutes of driving. And in terms of routing, there's two different settings you could do. You could do either shortest or fastest. Shortest is just the closest on the road network of, in terms of distance, but fastest is how long it will take. So obviously driving on a freeway or another type of highway class road is going to be faster than a normal um, like downtown. Range is just the number you want to pass. Um, that's going to be either time or distance. Um, you could enable traffic um, based on the current setting of when you make the API request or any other date um, in the historical, um, so like past or in the future. And then mode, you could do car, truck, or pedestrian. Car and pedestrian um, is pretty straightforward. Um, pedestrian sidewalks, car road. But truck has a couple more specifications. Um, some trucks have restrictions on where they could drive based off local regulations. Um, also, depending on bridges that you may drive through, um, there's weight restrictions and also height restrictions and sometimes slope. So you could account for those small settings. So to demonstrate this API, I built a quick little um, React application to play around with different parameters. So right now, I have the marker set to basically the center of Seattle. What we'll do is zoom in to where we are right now, which I believe, give or take a couple blocks, is right here. And we see the range slider right here. It's currently set to 17 minutes. And we could slide this around to really determine um, how far we want to travel. So say 10 minutes with car, we could basically reach the tip of Mercer Island, or we could go a little bit north on I-5 to the University District. So let's see with walking. Let's just see 10 minutes um, from this office. You could kind of reach over um, to University Street. Let's just play around and see how far we could get. 
with about one hour walking, we could reach Lake Union, Belltown, and even almost um, kind of to the, the end of Soto. So this works anywhere on the map. Um, does anyone have a suggestion from the audience of your favorite city you want to check out? Someone just yell at a city. Washington, D.C. So I don't have search enabled in here, so I'm just dragging around the marker. Um, so this may take a second. So I'll do my best to pinpoint it. And we'll start, which I believe the White House is like right here. Um, how far do you want to see? Okay, let's do, let's, let's max it out. <laughs> so we'll do 333 minutes, so about uh, five and a half hours. Um, this is how far you could walk, pretty far. But let's see with car, this is about to grow really big. So you can go all, all the way to New York in five hours. So this is pretty fun to, yeah, let's turn on traffic. So traffic didn't change too much uh, because it's on the East Coast. I mean, it's 10 o'clock right now. Uh, but let's try traffic in something like San Francisco, where they're probably just on the, the late end of rush hour. So we'll put it at, let's say, one hour. So this is traffic enabled. <laughs> Sorry, what was so funny? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so this is traffic enabled. Let's turn off traffic. So you can see you get much farther. So pretty fun to play around with that. So this sample application um, was built using the gear routing API for ice lines, then also React for building the UI. Um, for the actual map rendering, we're using map tiles provided by here but also with Leaflet. Uh, how many of you guys have heard of Leaflet? Yeah, it's pretty popular out there. And they have a nice React binding for it called React-Leaflet. Um, I use it a lot, it's pretty helpful. So uh, it's a great library that I, I'd recommend. And so to build this, um, I'm basically I'm setting all my parameters in my applications, sorry, application state. So you just have the center, the mode, the range, type traffic and such. And then basically whenever the marker moves or I'm changing a setting, uh, we make an API request. Um, in a RESTful format, which I'm using right now, but you could also use it with one of our SDKs in Android, iOS, or JavaScript. So really depending on the type of application you're building. And then, uh, pretty straightforward, just have the normal HTTPS request, and I pass these parameters here as well. And then that will go ahead and make the request and then update the map, which I have in a map container. Um, so React Leaflet makes it very nice to work with this map in React. You just set up your map here, as well as add your layers, and then your markers and your polygons. So to build something like this, um, it only took me about maybe two hours. Um, so the API is very easy to use. Um, it took a little longer just to add all this custom styling and such to make it look good for the demo. So you can get started with this API today. Um, you can head on over to our developer portal. It's called developer.here.com. Um, and as probably some of you know who have built location applications before in the past, sometimes this stuff can get very expensive once you get past the free tier. Um, here does 250,000 transactions for free per month, which in comparison to our peers, um, like Google Maps Platform and Mapbox and such, um, they generally offer around a 50,000 limit for free. Um, so we're about five times as affordable um, in the free tier. So if you're definitely wanting to prototype some applications and such, um, you don't have to worry about costs with this. Very affordable. So thank you very much for attending this. Um, I hope you enjoy these ice lines. Um, the code and also the demo applications available on my GitHub. So github.com slash dbabs slash ice lines, as well as the GitHub pages which has the um, running app. So feel free to check it out, play it around, uh, fork it, make some changes. Um, and then I'm also on Twitter. I'm always tweeting about all things related to maps and JavaScript. So feel free to share with me anything cool that you build or start a conversation there. Thank you.